incredible composure by him, considering how dominant Legit's performance had been in those previous two games. Yeah, but on the flip side, Exax is very first in this matchup, playing a little bit of Villager himself, and at the same time, he raves about the God of Renai a lot. Oh, yeah. If, if, if one of your favorite uh, players mains a character, you kind of know a lot about that character, even though you never even have to play them. You probably watch every VOD of them. No, exactly, and Bandit going right away back to the ledge play where he excels very, very well. But Exax right away getting a lot of these pivot grabs. Oh, going for the jab reset there. Unable to find it. No, but both, I'm expecting both these players to play very, very patiently. But I think Fox is just one of those characters that can actually deal with villager shenanigans at the ledge because up tilt is an amazing tool to go ahead and deal with it. Oh yeah, it covers so many options and it's, it's it also works as a two frame ability. Punishes neutral get up, get up attack, a lot of things. Oh. Doesn't find the finishing hit of that, and right now, again, playing patient on the stage. Does the uh, does the uh, fastball fair spike work on Villager? Do you know? I believe so. I think it's just a lot stricter uh, percent to go ahead and get it. But dash attack into the up air is gonna seal it up for Xx right there. Okay. Yeah. I was I was curious to see whether it'd be seeing like Xx spring that on Bandit later in the set, given that he's been playing so restrained on stage right now. Yeah. No. I think the, I think it would work only if he gets Bandit deep enough. Because if it's not, he's gonna be able to recover back. Because Villager's yeah. recovery is ridiculous. Oh yes. <laughs> oh my he's, gosh, he's dead. He's gone! He's done. We got an even game! <laughs> he just got sniped. Yeah, no, that was that was the clean like maybe if he side beat he would have made it to the legend time. But I don't know. I don't know if he had a jump or was he just mashing B right there? I'm not entirely sure, but nonetheless that stock is gone and Exact's trying to get himself a lead yet again. And right now he does actually have that <gasps> luxurious read. <gasps> Oh no. Oh my gosh. The Bandit running off immediately after that force smash hit. He was clearly looking for a confirm, but he backed off at the last moment. All right, we got up tilts coming in right now. Exax getting a forward throw, sending Bandit right back off stage. But I love the patience that Exax is demonstrating right now. Not immediately throwing anything out when Exax is coming up. I mean, when Bandit's coming up. Yeah, basically just waiting for him to throw something out and trying to counteract it. But he's having such trouble going and getting anything going. It, it's interesting how much trouble Bandit's Nair is causing Exax. Like, he's been just like double Nairing a couple times and still catching <gasps> just the edge of the percent range for that to work. And even taunts for good measure. No. Okay. No, at the same time, uh, Bandit definitely did not have the best DI on that. He went straight up. Yeah. I don't think he was expecting it to connect. No. It, it kind of looked like he was holding left. Hmm. It was weird enough. I'm not sure if he was trying to go for a fair or maybe in there. Not entirely sure, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. That game is XX. And I wonder are we going to. Oh, I, ex I expect uh, XX ban Lilat. So mm -hmm. FD would. Yeah, I can see this. Nope. Want to avoid those platforms for Fox to play on. Two, one, even though Villager does have shenanigans, well, with like bo the bowling ball and the pots that we saw him do. Miscellaneous, come on. We went over this last week. Uh, <laughs> did I say Jake? <laughs> Shoot, yeah, miscellaneous. My bad. <laughs> you know, I'm just messing with you. But, all right, we're going back into game two of this winner's final set right now. And really, Bandit is going to have to have some type of answer. I'd love to see him try to space out a couple more of these aerials and try to retreat a little bit more. But at the same time, Exax is going ahead and... Oh. Okay. That might put in some good... Oh. No. You know, Exax is smart. He's using Shine the way Sakurai is doing. To actually reflect projectiles. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And still the double jump there, but didn't keep on that pressure. I would have liked to see something like that because uh, Fox's landing options in that situation would be extremely limited. Uh, and also, I really like what Bandit is doing. Coming down with the down air and just beating out the up air attempts from Exax. Making sure he can say, well, I have just a tiny bit more. But I don't think that's going to be enough. He's going to have to do more of this, get these grabs, land these fairs. But now he's back off stage. Yeah, he's having trouble just finally does it. He gets Exax just off stage. Because that's how he took the stock last time. A very clean edge guard. And I feel like that's going to be his main strength here if he can just keep this edge guarding position. Oh, he went for, I think he went for like a wind box or something. I saw him pull out the shovel. Yeah, I think he had, I think he was hoping he had an axe or something. I'm not entirely sure what yeah. that was there. But he, I'm surprised he just didn't throw out a bowling ball. Yeah, very weird. 
That's actually very smart from Exax. Trying to get in there as fast as he can so he doesn't allow Bandit to set anything up. Because Bandit right now is trying to get... Oh! Barely not connecting there. And in Exax's favor, that was just a single turn up. So <laughs> if, it, if it did connect, it wouldn't have killed him. Still terrifying. Still absolutely terrifying, yeah. <laughs> because RNG is a vengeful god who will at any moment choose to end you. And again! <laughs> the Lloyd Rocket again sniping Exax out of his recovery. <laughs> out of the Firefox. I, I'm surprised Exax is doing it at that exact same height the second time. Oh my goodness. And the double fair putting on some percent. Oh! But Bandit nearing right into that up smash. What an answer. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, the up smash. I think that actually just beats it. That's a really good option against Fox. So you're not just stuck really in the vortex. I I'm pretty sure, yeah, it does straight up beat it just because uh, during the sweet spot of the up smash by Fox, his legs are actually intangible. So there's that, there's that extra little bit of disjoint that lets you uh, counter things. Like, I kind of use it as sure you can, yeah. but, you know, if you miss, you're dead. Uh, again, Bandit trying to play the sneak shot and Gyro Rocket yet and again. But unfortunately, it's not happening right now. Exax is playing very smart, really staying away, throwing off, trying these aerials. Good punish on that air right there. Gets Bandit off stage. Oh, gets the Exax, but it pops one of the balloons, and I don't know if that actually affected the knockback of the F Smash, and we made it do the sour spot instead. Uh, and F Tilt sending Bandit right back off stage. Oh, he read the air dodge right there, but Exax unable to connect it, uh, and unable to connect the back air. You know, such patience though, now we're not throwing any buttons whatsoever. Trying to intimidate Bandit into doing something he can punish on reaction. No oh, up there. Basically, whenever XX does that, he's basically just trying to catch someone sleeping. Yeah. He's told me this right away. He's like, I don't get anything out of this. I just want to find someone who is not paying attention, and I'm just going to kill him. <laughs> but Bandit right now, he is in a great position. Just because if he gets a back throw or any really good hit, Fox is going to die with this amount of rage. You know what I, I really want to see XX do? Back air? Yeah, actually, <laughs> actually, yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. I'm completely okay with it. I, I was, I was gonna apologize to the stream audience. I was about to advocate him to time out for two minutes, because if Bandit wants to set up camp when he has twice the percent as Exax, you let him. Just, you know, I'm sure. I, I don't think he could rack up 80 percent in two minutes with just slingshots. You know, like you could just, yep. you just keep shining it. Them. Just keep yeah. shining. Why not? Do what Sakurai wants. All right, but Bandit opting to go straight back to FD. We are back in for yet another game. Will Exax 3-0 Bandit or will Bandit go ahead and finally win on his counter? I mean, this, this wouldn't be the first reverse 3-0 we've seen from Bandit today, so I'm not counting him out. He's off stage again. But very fortunate for Exax that he did not get hit by the triple turnips right there. Yeah, using uh, side B close enough to the stage so that the invincibility lasted up until he could grab the ledge. Uh, wisely right there. XX opting just to back off, not give Bandit what he wants, and just start shooting some lasers. And that's a very smart strategy from XX, just knowing that if he continues to approach, he's gonna eventually get hit by one of those retreating areas. It, you, kind of turning the tables on a camping character can be really funny, because like they're just like, oh wait, I have to approach? It's my turn? Yep. And like it can really throw off players who aren't used to switching up their momentum like that, or just a lot of camping characters don't have the proper approaching tools. Yep, I really like the Firefox attempt right there from Exax. He's actually Ooh. caught quite a number of people with the recoveries like that, and a solid backer beating out the down air. Yeah, that was such a well-spaced one too. It was right around the triple turnips. Oh, the <laughs> slingshot unable to stop the Firefox. I, I like that he tried, but yeah, you know, I think I'd be tilted if that actually works. Because then, how does Fox ever recover <laughs> against Villager? Up again, Bandit's just trying to stick to his game plan, but I'm not sure if this is the right one. I feel like Bandit needs to go in just a tiny bit more and start taking advantage of the aerials that he does have. Maybe try to narrow up a little bit more, but start going for these mix-ups around Exact shield, because whenever he sees Bandit approaching, he's just holding up that shield. Yeah, and, and uh, uh, when Exact goes for the shine as well, like those are opportunities to uh, 
maybe try to bait it out and punish the shine without actually flitting it or reflecting anything, so it has a bunch of M uh, has a bunch of N lag. Uh, exactly, but a solid up air coming from Banner right there. Not quite taking this box, but I think it's some good damage. And the tree! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's trying to plant another one immediately, but the street trunk was still around. Uh, oh my goodness, Exax again getting another up tilt, but just lasering away. That hit opted to air dodge away. Well, that's one answer to Lloyd. Like, it's not the most efficient one. I, I do like it. If he was a little bit closer, it would have been perfect. And that's just something that Exax actually really likes to do. He will challenge people's basically landing moves when they're right. Oh no. That should end it. Very clean back air right there. Honestly, like Bandit putting up a very good fight all three of those games, because all things considered, I know Fox isn't necessarily a pleasant matchup for Villager, given his speed and just, we saw his ability to just deal with your